Welcome back to Planet Coaster. <laughs> so previously, I demonstrated making simple scenery objects to improve your uh, park's scenery rating by a point and your uh, ride's Q scenery rating to make it more prestigious. So. We are going to make a restroom because that's everyone's favorite ride at a theme park is queuing up for the toilets. So since I kind of have like a spooky theme, we're going to go and make it more spooky tashes by having a bathroom where you can cast a mighty spell. Har har har. So, let's see what we got. We got crypt pieces. So we got detailed, greenish. I like the mossy look of it. Okay. So when placing walls, Keep in mind where it goes inside the square. It's for our restroom. Let's actually make it go a little bit further back. Ooh. There we go. So it butts up against the actual uh, building. Realistically, bathrooms are probably a little bit deeper than that, but we'll do it that way. Exactly, but uh, we'll live with it. We'll make do. So you know you can easily stick the themes, just make it simple as building shapes. Cause we could just have a bathroom, but that's boring. 
I kind of want to make it look somewhat interesting. So there's like a weird thing I'm seeing right now is when I try to place it, it wants to place it at on the world scale, which is kind of at an angle. So I'm using um, a line to surface and kind of having it forcefully align towards um, the same angle as this building. So I can have a little bit more control. And then we can just add wonderful little details like this. So we can do a third one, like so. To give the wonderful guest the greatest restroom experience they can get at this. <laughs> but I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. It was a holiday weekend. Hopefully people got some good times. Safe good times. Uh, for the holiday weekend, here in the States at least. set, but hey. Since we're doing it snap at 15 degree angles, makes it much easier just somewhat correctly. Da -da -da -da. Oops. Oh. Perfect. Good enough. Let's get these um, windows, some sprucing up. Hopefully you don't hear the lawnmower in the background, but if you do, congratulations, you have good ears, or I have a good mic or a bad mic. Who knows? I want to go scenery. Fence. Games came out, so does that make me a 
an imposter in the world of video games, board games, or traditional games as they probably prefer to be called. Nothing wrong with traditional board game players. And, you know, they can be fun. If you're into it. I'm pretty much a boring hunk of coal. On those games are not my thing. Because I'm impatient. That's interesting. in the game. I'm, I haven't tried or looked, but sometimes I want to enter the precise uh, rotation value. Like, I want it exactly at 0.2 something degrees or something. Then I can center an object and kind of do a force rotation at so many degrees to make more interesting shapes. I'm not that clever. custom fancy bathroom for our park called Ed Tutland. Tut short for tutorial. Thank you. 
Control C. I'm going to copy that color value. So we kind of match this stone. This stone work. We can't do it on the sandstone, but make do with what we go. this do bit over here poking out like that. So let's do it over here. Oops. So what is everyone's favorite theme park? been to a couple, um, Disneyland, um, Universal Studios, and a local one here in the state of Utah, uh, called, um, Lagoon. So I haven't been to many. some more, but I kind of want to... do something a little bit fancy with it. And it's going to be very interesting because this game not have a good uh, pathing. I think I can pull it off. Okay. Which there's more control for the pathing. But that's as balanced as I'm going to get it. So it 
see what prefab fountains they have. Oh, that seems a little bit too big. Decorating this. Make it the hot spot where kids want to hang out and say, I want to go to the spooky bathroom. Again? This is the fourth time today. I gotta pee really bad. Scene. Okay. Okay. And you don't need to be super precise. You can just good enough. Love those vultures or those crows because it reminds me of uh, every time they show uh, the nuclear power plant in The Simpsons. They always have like those vultures, just the noises they make in the background. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this is what I wanted. the knight's name right here, Sir Dedalot. He 
He had a wonderful family. They built it right next to the toilets. As in his dying will and testimony. You know, some people like bury me with my money. They'd be like bury me with my toilet, my favorite toilet. Or like, it was in his wish, he wanted to be buried next to his favorite toilet. We fought hard against it. That's kind of cool. You can kind of like blend the two trees together to make a spookier super tree. Add some lights. favorite lights. I like these ones. I 
just duplicate that. So, fine. Do that way. Here I want to use relative axis. There we go. Then we need a gargoyle. That's not. There we go. The lid is just a hair off center. So no, someone will be upset about that. I don't want upset folks with their pitchforks. And I don't need to be chased off of pitchforks again. Once was enough. So we can get that light effect without actually showing the light. Perfect. And then we need a sign to indicate this is a restroom. Align to surface, like so. See, it's a friendly sign. Save that as a blueprint, new blueprint. And the cool thing about this is we don't have to use this as, as a restroom. We can use it as a, we can take off that restroom sign um, and the actual restroom itself. And then we can put, I don't know, um, a restaurant in there. We can actually expand it out. We can make it actually a entrance to a ride. Um, And we can also have it as a um, yeah, entrance to a ride, restaurants, uh, a bigger building, even to another part of the park, kind of like a transition zone. It's like you're transitioning transitioning from Adventureland to Spooky Land, or or whatever. Turn it on. I mean, we can add all sorts of cool things with this. We can add audio. Demonic chanting. Oh, that would be awesome. And I have 
this one. Spooky piano. Add some plants. really love this plant. It just makes good, good ground covering. I mean... I'll add some flowers, kind of make it somewhat pretty. Advert made her excited. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, so let's go paint the terrain. Can have it too green. There we go. Our spooky restroom. So this demonstration shows you, you can take a simple object, such as a restroom, and you can turn it into a unique looking structure for your park. But it doesn't have to be just for a restroom. Since you built this building, you have a, and say as a blueprint, you have a another set piece that you can use in other situations or other parts. You can actually take this, as I mentioned before, for ride entrances, restaurants, um, staff rooms, or build it up together to build uh, gateways for other areas. Or just take it and add more details to it. There is no limit to what you can do in this game. So, see you guys in the next one, and thank you for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Ooh, Dr. Pepper. <laughs>